Hi, this is a brief tutorial on how to use Aperture 3.0 in combination with Roy Harrington's Quad Tone Rip um, driver. Um, I didn't find this information anywhere on the web, um, so I was making the mistake of double profiling when I was printing. Uh, let me show you real quick what the workflow should be here. Um, just select the image. In this case, um, this is a street photography scene that I converted to black and white. Hit Command P. Um, I have the Epson and Stylus uh, Photo R2880. Um, my mistake was here in rendering intent, or sorry, just rendering. The color profile, I was selecting a profile that I, I created for the Quad Tune Rip uh, driver. Don't do that. Um, just let the printer color manage because the driver, once we go into the printer, is going to do the color management for you. So, with that selected, printer manage, select print, and here from the drop down menu, you want to select instead of the printer, you select the driver, the Quad Tune R2880. Now, here on the layout, Select the drop-down menu, and you get the settings for the driver, the Quad Tone Rib. Select it. And I created a custom curve for Epson's Ultra Premium Photo Paper Luster using my Color Monkey. Uh, but this uh, software uh, has already some, uh, quite a selection of uh, custom curves built in. Elford, even Epson Paper for Velvet, Velvet Fine Art. Uh, they didn't have, however, the ultra premium photo paper luster, which is what I had on hand, so I created one using the Color Monkey. That process in itself is pretty long and it merits a whole different tutorial by itself. So I'm just going to show you here what you do. Select the curve. In this case, I created a custom one for the Epson paper that I mentioned. Um, here you can leave it as is or I use 2880 dpi and speed I, you have to select on unidirectional and hit print 